Oh my god, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Hey, what's up, Internet? I'm Austin Castro, and for this week's video, I'm going to talk about a very exciting passion of mine, something that I've been obsessed with for I don't know how long, and that thing is Chipotle. I feel like Chipotle is one of those things that I kind of sneak into every single video I do somehow, some way, and so I figured, why not do a whole video on it? In case you don't know, I actually happen to work at Chipotle, and I started this past August, so I'm going into my ninth month there, and it is absolutely amazing. Before even working there, I was already going to Chipotle for like several years, and so I was already an addict, and I think just naturally working there was just the next step forward in my addiction. Also, one of the most amazing benefits of working there is that you get free Chipotle. Yes, I said free Chipotle as in you don't have to pay extra for guac, you can get a bowl, burrito, taco, salad, whatever you want for free when you're working, and it is the most amazing, beautiful thing ever. It is physically impossible for me to be in a bad mood somehow at Chipotle because I always go in feeling really enthusiastic. I always relate to Spongebob to be honest, like I told my manager this really cheesy quote, I'm just like, I love Chipotle so much. I feel like Spongebob every time I come into work and Chipotle is simply my crusty crap. So I'm gonna take time in this video to talk all about that Chipotle lifestyle, whether you're a customer, addict, kind of like I was, or if you're a fellow Chipotle employee and you get all the free Chipotle you want. So this first thing I feel applies to pretty much anyone who works with customers, and that is you kind of get into this customer service mode whenever you're at work. Over at Chipotle, I work on the front of the line, whether that's being on the food line itself, making the food, or on cash, ringing things up, and so I pretty much do everything that has to do with the customers. And oftentimes, those Chipotle lines will be to the door, and so you kind of have to get into a very focused mindset and get people in and out and in and out. Really loud. I feel like when I talk to customers, I have this very distinct customer service board that I don't talk to my friends with, but it's just kind of like natural, like, hi, welcome to Chipotle, what can I get started for you? And fruit would you like white or brown rice, black or pinch beans, and your choice of meat, any mild medium hot or corn salsa, any sour cream or cheese, and guac is actually that okay? Perfect, thank you, have a great day. Service with a smile. Something I feel like Chipotle employees don't get enough credit for is rolling those burritos. I mean, we've rolled enough burritos to the point where it looks like it's no big deal, but if you actually try doing it yourself, especially those big monster burritos with like double meat, double rice, double everything and guac and all that stuff it can get pretty terrifying something i never get tired of watching on youtube are these chipotle hack videos to see how people manage to get the most bang out of their buck for chipotle a few months ago there was a chipotle hack going around that involved getting a burrito bowl with a tortilla on the side half and half of both rice half and half of both beans half and half of both meat which yes you can do and then everything else and then you roll up the burrito yourself and you just get this giant monster burrito almost two burritos and it's just it works technically, I guess. Something I feel like most people don't know when they go to Chipotle is you can actually get extra anything you want except for meat and guacamole. You just have to ask and we'll give it to you. And just for the record, yes, the whole quesarito thing is real. There's a button for it on the register, but there is an extra charge for it, so the more you know. Now, by far, one of my biggest pet peeves whenever I'm working on the line is when people put their fingers over the sneeze guard. Whenever people do that, I imagine President Obama when he visited Chipotle because he did that exact same thing. And when I saw that, I'm just like, that right there is presidential overreach. I think he should be impeached. That is the worst thing a leader could do. Speaking of customers, I absolutely love when our regulars come in. The Chipotle I work at is actually at a mall, so we get a lot of mall employees and a lot of the same crowd that comes in, and they love Chipotle as much as I do, and it's really cool to see the same faces, get to talk to them. I've made several friends. It's kind of weird, because now whenever I go around the mall, I can't walk around without seeing at least one person I know that's been to Chipotle, and it's really cool, because I'll be like, hey, and a lot of times they'll also work at other stores, and we'll just talk and mingle and all that fun stuff. Chipotle just brings everyone together. It's great. Now, if you're a Chipotle employee, you're probably used to hearing the same Chipotle soundtrack over and over again, and it kind of gets to the point where you have these songs memorized, you rock out to them, and you kind of have your favorite songs, because I know I do. Chipotle playlist time! It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. Even though I've heard these songs like a billion times, some of them are really catchy and I just can't help but dance to it. Of course, dancing to the Chipotle music is one of the things I do with my coworkers, but another thing I'll do is show them all of these Chipotle memes. I'm following I don't know how many Chipotle meme accounts on Twitter and Instagram, but they are like seriously the most relatable thing ever. Whether you're a customer or employee, I seriously just love them and they absolutely make my day. Seriously, Chipotle memes are my life. There's also this thing called the guacamole song, which goes a little like this. Guacamole. 
And there was one day where I was at work and literally like all of us just started randomly singing it together and it was just the Chipotle family coming together and bonding over guacamole. guacamole. I have to say, by far, Chipotle had the best guacamole ever. Like, no other guacamole I've had has been able to match it. The reason guac is extra is because there are real avocados, like, real ingredients going into it, unlike some other places. Like, you can go to Chipotle's YouTube channel, and you can see exactly how it's made in store. And believe me, it is a process, but it is a process that is very much worth it. And also, over the past few months at Chipotle, it has been promo season, and so they've been sending out, like, a crazy amount of coupons. As of the taping of this video, there's actually another promo going on right now where you can get free chips and guac. You can go to guachunter.com. Yes, I said guachunter.com and go play this little guac hunter game and fun Chipotle stuff. And then by the end of the game, you will get a free coupon that you can take to any Chipotle in the US um, and get yourself some free chips and guac. That's like freaking good. Food with integrity. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching my little rant video about Chipotle and how much I love it because seriously, it is literally my life. There's a reason I work there. I'm actually about to head to Chipotle right now to do another fun, awesome shift, get some free Chipotle, and just have an all around amazing time. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Chipotle life. I need to get to work. I'm gonna be laying on my lawn. Chipotle.